Ooh, Ancient Province. Hi everyone, Josh from Ancient Province Games here. Today I have a little bit of hashtag arrow 123 gameplay footage for you. The footage is just me playing four hands by myself, but it should give you a good idea about how the game works. Anyway, here we go! So the game begins with the oldest player dealing out three of each type of card, both number cards and arrow cards. Normally, after the deal, the player to the dealer's left would be the one to start, but, uh, well, I'm all the players, so I just went with what was in front of me. The first thing you do at the start of your turn is draw a card. You can choose either a number card or an arrow card to draw. And then after that, you make a play. Now, in this example, we didn't have any mulligans happen, but if you do have to mulligan because you can't make a play, you just choose your number cards or your arrow cards, put them at the bottom of the appropriate deck, and then draw a number of cards equal to the cards you mulliganed from the top of the appropriate deck. Pretty simple. And then once you can make a play, you must make a play, even if it's not the best play. Well, that's all the commentary I have for now. I think I'll just let you watch the game in peace for a little while, and then I'll have a few more comments at the end. And after that lovely musical interlude, I'm back. First, apologies for sliding the minus three on the double arrow underneath the glare of the light. My wife was gracious enough to hold my phone over the table while we were doing the recording, and uh, we didn't really have a chance to do another one, as the time that our son naps is somewhat variable. So apologies again for the glare. 
Now, I'm sure you noticed that the cards in this video are different from the hand-drawn ones in the announcement video. I recently purchased a few packages of the Avery self-print business card paper, and I printed out a set of the cards to kind of get an idea of what they might look like. Now, of course, I found that shuffling and dealing business cards is extremely difficult, so I also put them in your basic uh, card protecting sheets so that they'd be easier to handle. We're at the second to last play of the game here, and what you can see is that there has been a lot of negative cards played, so the score totals are all going to be in the negative, but you'll see in a few moments I will be uh, making a few different hand gestures indicating which cards are counting where, and uh, you'll see a dismissive uh, wave of the hand for the left-hand player and the top player. The right-hand player also didn't make it. The winner of this game is the bottom player, which is where I happen to be sitting. I guess it means I am winning 25% of my games right now, which is pretty bad, but hey. Plenty of room for improvement, right? All right. All that's left to do is to tally up the points and see who won. And as I said, the bottom player won this one, which means they get the definitive finger point of victory. So it turns out I was wrong. The right-hand player is the player who actually won, not the bottom player. I was counting as a triple arrow, the double arrow underneath the glare. See, it just goes to show you, it is very important to pay attention when you're playing hashtag arrow one, two, three, or you might not know who's in the lead. Anyway, thanks for watching me embarrass myself. Please like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter, at GamesAncient, and like us on Facebook. And of course, don't forget to visit ancientprovince.com. Have a great day. Bye.